All right, Damien, what's the title today? Extreme Insects. Fiction or nonfiction? Nonfiction. Go for it. You I can't. Scroll up. Oh. Yeah, sometimes it's weird. Beautiful pictures. Ooh, look at that table of contents. Let's start with the introduction. Insects are always in danger. They have many enemies. They are they are food for each other, as well as other animals. Oh gosh, they're always in danger. Kind of a scary way to Ooh, live. Ooh, that looks creepy and cool at the same time. Oh, look at his body. Strange shapes. Insects have many tra traits that help them stay alive. These traits include size looks and weapons. Oh, so those are like the details that help him stay alive. So the size of his body, the looks of his body. Oh, and weapons. What kind of weapons? I don't know. Well, let's see what we can find out. We're still in the introduction. Uh, let's look at some of the extreme traits mm -hmm. insects have that help them. Awesome. So it looks like the first trait we're going to learn about is the extreme, extreme size. size. I guess they get big. Maybe they get super small. This beetle can grow as long as a pen. It can weigh as much as a banana. What? Extreme size and hard cover protect it from its enemies. Wow, that guy's called the Goliath beetle. Uh, One of the he, largest insects in the world. He can be as long as a pen. He's fat. Damien. So you could be like this long. Can you imagine finding that? Get away. Can you imagine finding a, a bug that big? No. He's got a hard cover. All right. So extreme size is one of the traits. On the okay. trampoline, um, Summer and Aubrey um, just crushed the beetles. I hope not. Let's learn about this insect. It. This insect can grow... Longer than a new pencil. What? He looks like a stick. Yeah. I wouldn't even notice that that's an insect. Mm. I would think that's a twig. Its size frightens smaller insects away. I bet. Animals don't eat it because they think it's, it is just a... Big stick. That's exactly what I'd think. Wouldn't you? Sort of. Doesn't but, that look like but a stick? I would see... Oh, yeah, it does. But I would... Well, I would think... It... Um, it wouldn't look like a stick. Because these would, these would just look random on a stick. Oh, the, the what would look random? Um, the antennas in those two legs. Right. And these legs in the back. Yeah. Because all insects have six legs, right? Yeah. So the six legs. I, that doesn't. Oh, yeah, it is an insect. Yep. Six legs and the two antennae. That would be what makes you know it's not just a stick. Many insects look like other things. Wait, what's the title of uh, this chapter? Extreme look alikes. Oh, so things that they resemble or look similar to. Okay. Many insects look like other things. Their looks help them hide from animals that want to eat them. Oh, I guess that's a good strategy. Some insects look like parts of plants. They can 
look like leaves, flowers, stems, or even thorns. Whoa, can you find the insect <laughs> in this picture? Where's it's the insect? So right there. So is this leaf part of the tree? No. That's part of the bug? Yeah, I think. That's a Katie did. Ew. Wow. So they use that look to camouflage or hide from predators. There are insects with large fake eyes. Those are probably fake. Wow. They look so real. To scare hungry animals away, then scare these caterpillar. Then scare this caterpillar can make itself look like a snake. Oh my gosh. Those eyes can't be fake. Are those really fake? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Don't, doesn't that look real? Yeah. That's called the Sphinx Moth Caterpillar. Can puff up in spots so it looks like a cobra. Holy smokes. I'd probably freak out if I saw that. Extreme weapons. What kind of weapons do they have? Some insects have extreme weapons too help them survive. Some of these insects are use their weapons to get food. Others use their weapons to keep from becoming food. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this insect digs a pit in the sand. It traps ants in the pit, then it grabs an ant in its large, sharp jaws. Yummy. So what does it do with the ant? Just traps it? No, eats it. Oh, he eats it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I didn't see the word eat in the text, so I didn't know that he actually eats it. I couldn't infer that. Good this job. This bug jump on other insects. It straps, stabs, stabs them with its sharp beak. Oh yeah, I see. Wow! It. it shoots out poison that turns their insides to goo. Ugh. <laughs> then the bug sucks out. The goo slurped. Oh, Ow. sick. So wait, what did he do with the goo? He drank it, I guess. He drank it? Oh, wow. I didn't see the word drank on the text, so I didn't know. But that's good inferring. Nice job. Watch out. This beetle sprays out boiling hot poison when touched. It stops animals from trying to eat it. Boiling hot poison? How can the bombardier beetle get poison that hot? I don't know. Does his body get that hot? I don't know. He sprays his enemies away. They have some serious weaponry. What do you think is the best weapon? I would say they're poison. The boiling hot poison? I think that beak that stabs the insect and then, like, puts poison in them. But that's gross. But that's a good weapon. If mm. you had to pick one of the weapons, that'd be a good weapon to have, I guess. Insects have many ways to protect themselves. Their size, color, and weapons can help them stay alive. Excellent. So since Daddy just arrived, he didn't get to hear about the size. Can you tell Daddy a detail that we learned about insect size? Uh, what do we remember? You can look back at the text if you need to. Extreme size. What did we learn? Um, uh, I don't know. Here you do. Remember this? Uh, yeah.
This beetle can grow as long as this. Whoa, that's a huge bug. As What's it called? Um, Goliath. What? Goliath beetle. Goliath beetle? Wow. One of the longest, right? Can be as long as a pen or as long as a pencil. What about, uh, what do we learn about this guy? Uh, he looks like a walking stick. That looks cool. Um, it can grow as long as like a new pencil. Mm. I've seen one of those before, Damon. You yeah. have? Yeah. Animals don't eat it because they think he's just a stick. But how does Damien know it's not a stick? Because there's too many branches and like it looks weird with like four um, stuff mm. um, peeking out. And those four branches are really the... And legs and antennas. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sometimes they look like other things. Trash too. bug. That's Ew. weird. Who names all these insects? Right? Like, I wonder who comes mm. up with the names. Mm-hmm. Very cool. You want to tell Daddy about this Sphinx moth? Mm. It can... Um... Make it itself look um like a snake. Really? Show Daddy the picture. Daddy, and his eyes are wow. fake. Those are fake eyes. Those are fake eyes. That looks kind of scary. And I'm a person. And it and it makes itself pop up to look like a cobra. Oh, it can do that too. Wow, that's cool. Which is really thick. The Sphinx moth caterpillar. Yep. So it scares away other insects. And this Katie did kind of makes herself look like a plant. Well, it's just like a leaf. Yeah. Right? Isn't that amazing? Mm. All right. What do you want to say? Bye.